ಸಂಸ್ಮಸ್ಮದಾಚಾರ್ಯಪರ್ಯಂತಾಂ ವಂದೇ ಗುರುಪರಂಪರಾಂ ಶ್ರೀ ಸ್ಮೃತಿ ಪುರಾಣ ಆಲಯ ಕರುಣಾಲಯ ನಮಿ ಭಗವತ್ಪಾದ ಶಂಕರ ಲೋಕಶಂಕರ ಶಂಕರ ಶಂಕರಾಚಾರ್ಯ ಕೇಶವ ಬಾದರಾಯಣ ಸೂತ್ರಭಾಷ್ಯಕೃತೌ ವಂದೇ ಭಗವಂತ ಪುನಃ ಪುನಃ ಈಶ್ವರೋ ಗುರುರಾತ್ಮೇತಿ ಮೂರ್ತಿಭೇದ ವಿಭಾಗಿನೇ ವ್ಯೋಮವ್ಯಾಪ್ತಿಹಾಯ ದಕ್ಷಿಣಾಮೂರ್ತ ನಮಃ ಓಂ ಸಹನಾವತು ಸಹನೌರಕ್ತು ಸಹ ವೀರ್ಯಂ ಕರ್ವಾವಹೈ ತೇಜಸ್ವಿನಾವಧಿ ತಮಸ್ತುಮಾವಿದ್ವಿಷಾವೈ ಇ ಓಂ ಶಾಂತ 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 ಧಾತು ಬ್ರಹ್ಮೈವ ಸಂಪ್ರೋಕ್ತ ಜೀವ ಆಖ್ಯಾತ ಮುಚ್ಯತೆ ಪ್ರಕೃತಿ ಕೃಸ ಬಂತಾದಿ ಧಾತು ಬ್ರಹ್ಮಾತ್ಮನೇ ನಮಃ ನಾರಾಯಣ ಪರೋವ್ಯಕ್ತ ದಂಡಮವ್ಯಕ್ತ ಸಂಭವಂ ಅಂಡ ಶಾಂತ ಸ್ಥಿಮೇ ಲೋಕ ಸಪ್ತ ದ್ವೀಪಾಚಿನೇ we saw the <coughs> sorry three shokas together 7th 8th and 9th i think yeah 7th 8th and 9th i just wanted to point out another possibility here we saw parmatma as one word here jitatmana prashantasya parmatma samahito bhavati and shitoshna sukha dukheshu tatha tatha shitoshna sukha dukheshu ಮಾನಾಪಮಾನೋ ಶೀತೋಷ್ಣಸುಖದುಃಖೇಶು ಮಾನಾಪಮಾನೋ ತಥಾ ಸಿಮಿಲರ್ಲಿ ಸಿಮಿಲರ್ಲಿ ವಾಟ್ ಯು ಲವ್ ಟು ಸಪ್ಲೈ ಐ ಸೆಟ್ ದಟ್ ಸಮ ಹ್ಯಾಸ್ ಟು ಬಿ ಟೇಕನ್ ಔಟ್ ಅಂಡ್ ಸಮ ಬಿ ಸಹ ಜಿತಾತ್ಮ ಯಹ ಜಿತಾತ್ಮ ಪ್ರಶಾಂತ ಸಾರಿ ಜಿತಾತ್ಮ ಪ್ರಶಾಂತ ಪರಮಾತ್ಮ ಸಮಾಹಿತ ಇಫ್ ಯು ಮೇಕ್ ವನ್ ಅನ್ ವೇ ದೆನ್ ತಥಾ ಶೀತೋಷ್ಣ ಸುಖ ದುಃಖೇಶು ಮಾನಾಪಮಾನೋ ಚಾಟ್ ಸಮ ಬಿ ಯು ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ಟು ಬ್ರಿಂಗ್ ಸಮ ದೇರ್ ದಿ ಅದರ್ ವೇ ಸೊ ದಿಸ್ ಇಸ್ ವಾಟ್ ವಿ ಸಾ ದೇರ್ ಸ ಸಮ ಅಂಡ್ ಅನದರ್ ವೇ ಈಸ್ ಟು ಸ್ಪ್ಲಿಟ್ ದಿಸ್ ಪರಂ ಅಂಡ್ ಆತ್ಮ ಇನ್ಸ್ಟೆಡ್ ಆಫ್ ಪರಮಾತ್ಮ ಯು ಸೆಪರೇಟ್ ಇಟ್ ಔಟ್ ಅಂಡ್ ಮೇಕ್ ಇಟ್ ಪರಂ ಅಂಡ್ ಆತ್ಮ ಅಂಡ್ ಪರಂ ವುಡ್ ಬಿ ಎಡ್ವರ್ಬಿಯಲ್ ಮೀನಿಂಗ್ ಸದಾ ಆಲ್ವೇಸ್ so param means always uh, and atma there would mean antakkarana so jitatmana prashantasya atma is equal to antakkaranam shitoshna sukha dukheshu tatha manapamanayoh samahita bhavati then you don't have to supply anything so that's another way one can do anvaya i'll just mention here jitatmana ಪ್ರಶಾಂತ ಶೀತೋಷ್ಣ ಸುಖ ದುಃಖೇಶು ತಥಾ ಮಾನಾಪಮಾನೋ ಆತ್ಮ ಮೀನಿಂಗ್ ಅಂತಃಕರಣ ಪರಂ ಸಮಿತಿ ಸೊ ದಟ್ಸ್ ಅನದರ್ ಪಾಸಿಬಿಲಿಟಿ ಆನ್ ವೇ ದೇರ್ ಇಸ್ ನಾಟ್ ಮಚ್ ಚೇಂಜ್ ಇನ್ ಮೀ ಚೇಂಜ್ ಇನ್ ಮೀನಿಂಗ್ ಅವರ್ ಇಯರ್ ವೀ ಸೋ ಪರಮಾತ್ಮ ಪರಮಾತ್ಮ ಸಮಾಹಿತ ಬಿ but then uh, this is the end goal and we are looking at dhyana yoga as having two possibilities one for chitta shuddhi and one after shravana manana for nididhyasana that kind of a dhyana so the second would be uh, would have that kind of a meaning of uh, a person wanting to have chitta shuddhi either way both lead to the same goal uh, whether uh, chitta shuddhi for chitta shuddhi or later on for nididhyasana the dhyana roopa does not really change the object of uh, dhyana changes i think we ended with this uh, ninth shloka <coughs> so samatvam yoga uchyate that samatvam has been explained <coughs> that samatvam has been explained uh, across these three shlokas in all scenarios 
the yogi's mind is is stable it is very well composed and very well balanced and that is very necessary that that's utmost important for a person to uh, focus on dhyana atayam uktam uttama phala praptaye atah atah evam uttama phala praptaye having become uh, a yogi of this what kind of a yogi that samatva bhava yogi karma yogi who has samatva bhava and who has uh, who does not have raga dvesha towards anyone so uh, towards anything or anyone so samaloshtashma kanchan asan that kind of a yogi and who has no choice uh, or he does not make a choice based on people so in hindi they say you know grahak dekh ke pudi manna so you pack whatever you have to pack based on who you are dealing with this yogi is not of that sort he is equipoised towards everyone that kind of a yogi atha eva uttama phala prapte for uttama phala prapti which is finally moksha what what does he have to do yogi yunjita satatam atma namrahasi sthitah ekakiyata chittatma nirashira parigraha once karma yoga has brought enough chitta shuddhi to facilitate dhyana then this person should do, do dhyana even while doing shravana or even before shravana both cases uh, dhyana is possible so yogi this yogi yunjit vidilin yunjit satatam always atmanam yunjit now this one should one should uh, uh, do yoga that's what is said here and atmanam yunjit means that atma cannot be joined conjoined with anything else atma is not shuddha atma atma is antakaran so rahasi sthita san so staying in a uh, in a very uh, solitary secretive place especially uh, the place where you do dhyana the asana that you use, use for dhyana it should not be shared similarly the place where you do dhyana there should be no samuhika dhyana there is nothing called samuhika dhyana in the uh, in the sampradaya really there is nothing like that to study it is possible when uh, you are being taught dhyana it's okay but once you know how to do dhyana you should withdraw and stay in solitude for dhyana at least for that duration and then just like asana should not be shared the place also should be secretive uh, you should uh, uh, in fact if if possible you should keep a small place aside if you have a big house only for dhyana even you should not enter it unless you are uh, going to do dhyana so these are all uh, ways to facilitate and uh, you know to make the dhyana very focused otherwise it gets disturbed the energy remains pure there so rahasi sthitah san ekaki and then ekaki we saw last time uh, in the uh, in the introduction we had seen in last couple of classes that ekaki is used by krishna to say what grahasta uh, it, it is not for a grahastha specifically for a sanyasi a grahastha can do a brahmachari can do dhyana and a vanaprasthi can do dhyana but here specifically sanyasi for higher goal because uttam phala prapte everyone else is not doing for uttam phala prapti they are doing for chitta shuddhi whereas the sanyasi is doing for uttam phala prapti which is moksha there by bhagwan bhashyakara says ekaki indicates that you don't need anyone else yata chitta atma yata chitta atma is bahuri uh, atma is uh, deha here chitta is antakarana then atma cannot be antakarana again and atma cannot be controlled yata con- under control atma cannot be under control chitta already means antakarana therefore what will atma mean atma will mean deha atma that deha so chit yata chitta says the person is uh, having shama and yata atma means yata antakarana that shows 
दैट शोज दमा देह नॉन अंतकरण देह आत्मा वुड मीन देह सो चित्ता मीन्स अंतकरण आत्मा हियर मीन्स देह देर बाई यथा चित्त आत्मा चित्त एंड आत्मा इज द्वंद्व एंड यथा विथ चित्त एंड आत्मा विल बीन कर्मधारया बट इट इज नॉट कर्मधारया बोथ आर इन सामानाधिकरण बट इट इज अन्य पद प्रधान देर बाय इट इज इंडिकेटिंग अ पर्सन द योगी हु इज यथ चित्त आत्मा इट इज बहुरी where yata and chittatma is dvandva but we don't need anekam anya padarthe thereby you don't need to make a dvandva also so yataha chittascha atma cha yena sa yata chittatma nirashi hi so one who has no ashi he is not craving for anything thereby he is nirashi hi and aparigraha aparigraha hi does not hanker of uh, after anything he does not physically uh, you know accumulate stuff he does not have asha and he does not accumulate stuff so basic meaning we can take basic meaning uh, which is extensible it can be extended to more refined meaning but you get the idea uh, there by what yogi satatam atmanam yunjita yogi आत्मा रहस्य स्थित सन बींग इन सॉलिटरी प्लेस एकाकी एकाकी योग निराशे अपरिग्रह सतत आत्मा युंजी रहस्य स्थित सन सो यू कैन टेक दिस दि एंड योगी एकाकी अतचित्तात्मा निराशी अपरिग्रह एंड योगी के एकाकी अतचित्तात्मा निराशी अपरिग्रह योगी ही योगी रहसी स्थित सन सततम आत्मा युंजित अथ इधानी योगम युंजत आसन आहार विहारादी नाम योग साधन नियमो वक्तव्य सो नाउ यू हैव सो फार टोल्ड अस हु इज दिस कर्म योगी एंड देन So how he should graduate to Dhyana Yoga? While continuing Karma Yoga is possible, but then slowly he should withdraw, and then we focus inwards than outward. Thereby, uh, a certain uh, set of rules have been uh, are to be mentioned now. so this yogi what should he do should he be just like the way he was there when he was practicing karma yoga or even while practicing karma yoga when he does dhyana should he continue the same behavior as before or are there some specific rules when he does dhyana so atha idanim now there after now when uh, he is focusing on he has found a place a solitary place and he is doing dhyana then continuously if he is doing dhyana what should he do yogam yunjataha or that kind of a yogi who is uh, practicing meditation so we'll say practicing me- meditation otherwise yogam yunjataha how do you translate it one who is say uh, yah kriya karoti or karma karoti so krodha to both places you know it's uh, in english when you translate it you have to put together and translate it as a single word or a single unit Uh, even with krudanta so yoga munjata means one who is practicing yoga this how practicing meditation uh, for that kind of a person this is a yunjata is kartari tade for that kind of a person asana ahara vihar asana is the seat on which he do asana this is uh, uh, adhikarane lut asana adhikarane lut asana ahara vihar ahara is food and vihar is the rules to follow is how to go about how should he go about basically how to uh, how does he behave generally vihara would be actually roaming around asana ahara vihara adi nam yoga sadhanatvena niyamo vaktavya now when he once he is doing dhyana that dhyana becomes the uh, main task what is its sadhana anga anga would be asana ahara vihara what should he do that becomes his sadhana why sadhana because it 
by taking a particular uh, kind of food by using a particular kind of asana by uh, following uh, or by not roaming around actually vihara he should not roam around uh, a lot by those kind of rules what happens is that that becomes the sadhana for yoga to be more effective dhyana to be more effective and to get the phala faster for to attain success faster thereby they become sadhana so yoga sadhana twena dhyana yoga sadhana twena niyamo vaktavya then niyama the rules have to be mentioned about all of these regarding all of these prapta yoga se lakshanam tat phala dicha and then prapta yoga se one who is attaining success in dhyana lakshanam what what is his characteristic who is that kind of a person how is he and then tat phala dicha what is the phala of such kind of a dhyana all of this should be mentioned ityatah aarabhyate the next section is begun for this reason to talk about the means for dhyana in the sense means as in the uh, supporting means supportive as in the ahara ityadi asana ahara ityadi and what else what is the phala uh, and when this person attains this dhyana state what what is his characteristic all these whatever can be inquired into all those are to be talked about therefore he begins in next section तत्र आसन में उतावत प्रथम उच्चते व्हाट काइंड ऑफ आसना शुड बी यूज्ड हाउ शुड द आसना बी हाउ शुड बी सीट फॉर ध्यान बी दैट इज बीइंग डिस्कस नेक्स्ट इन द सेंस दैट इज द फर्स्ट इन द सीरीज सुचो देशे प्रतिष्ठाप्य स्थिरमासन आत्मनः नात्युच्छृतन्नाति नीचम जैलाजिन कुशोत्तरम सो सुचो देशे in a place which is clean there is shaucha it should be a clean place you, i can meditate anywhere there are lot of people who say okay you can meditate anywhere but try to do it in a clean place it will bring more phala it will bring phala faster the uh, it the dhyana will be qualitative and if a person has done it for a su- sufficient amount of time then he may not uh, even care about the surroundings and uh, dhyana may happen anywhere which is all right but initially to practice suchau deshe pratisthapya kim pratisthapya asanam asanam pratisthapya sthiram asana should be sthira it should not be an asana which is you know wobbly you you cannot say that okay i'll sit on this uh, slightly broken but it's okay because once you are absorbed in dhyana you may fall over or it will disturb the dhyana so many reasons are there it is but obvious that the asana should be sthira and then suchau deshe in a clean uh, place you place your asana whose as- your own asana atmanah asanam atmanah shari- asana for the sharira also your own reflexive or for the sharira the asana should be sthira and it should be in a clean place where should it be placed at what level na atyu uh, okay this uh, actually this is the word here for some reason the uh, it's showing differently the font is not working well so na atyu chritam it should not be very high na ati neecham it should not be very low it should be at a decent height and what is the exact height it will be subjective based on the person it should be at a comfortable height for you so that you are slightly above ground you are not touching the ground uh, so that you know uh, whatever is uh, the uh, in fact this is uh, when you are in a cave or something where uh, you know something which is roaming around some insects or something they should not disturb you uh, which are roaming around on the ground so you should be a slightly uh, well above ground water or something you know just uh, flowing water or something should not affect you. so asana should be higher so it should not be ati neecham and uh, it should not be very high so that uh, you know you don't uh, fall off or there is no loss of balance or anything it should be a uh, well placed asana in height and as per the person's height also it can vary and what kind of asana should it be it should be chailajina kushottaram 
So chaila is a cloth, vagina is a is a uh, skin based on which ashrama, uh, what kind of a stage the skin to be used for dhyana varies, and kusha kusha is the kusha grass. Now ajina is very difficult to source and uh, nowadays it is uh, illegal as well. You can't uh, source uh, a deer skin or anything. Uh, and even if a person has a deer skin, uh, it should be proven uh, before that uh, law was uh, law came into being. It has to even if you have deer skin, you should go to the government to whichever department and prove that you have got this. Uh, before the law came into being, otherwise uh, you'll be fined and uh, it's an offence. Uh, so anyway, unfortunate. But then um, it's also true that uh, people hunt for uh, for skin, just like uh, they hunt for tusks and all that. So thereby, uh, it's a good rule in that sense. But then uh, a person is denied of uh, sourcing this. Uh, Generally, by a natural death, if you can find, it's, it's supposed to be good. But then, in uh, modern times, we can't uh, go back and say that we need a skin or anything. Any asana which is uh, which is buffering you from the ground should be good enough. <coughs> I'm sorry. So the anvaya is not complete here. So shucho deshe. Uh, uh, I'll leave this for uh, later or you can do it as homework. Let's do it. Suchav deshe asanam pratishthapya. Asanam pratishthapya. Having placed the asana. What kind of asana? And sthiram pratishthapya. Asanam sthiram pratishthapya. Adverbial. Steady. Placing it uh, in a steady manner. Atmanaha asanam. Which is what? Atmana uh, asana sthiram sanam na atichritam. There is no chakara complete here, it is atichritam. Uh, that somehow that uh, uh, is, the font is not right. And na ati nicham. What kind of asana again? Uh, so a layered one. What is the layering here? Layering is uh, first you should place kusha, and then uh, so the, the sorry the way it is said here. It is said cloth, then ajina, and then kusha. The sequence is exactly opposite. You should place kusha on the ground. The, uh, the grass, kusha grass, and then the deer skin or any of that, and then chaila. Chaila is a cloth, a soft cloth, and then that becomes an asana, the three layered asana. So, suchav desha atmanaha chaila jina kushottaram asanam. Uh, actually, this is a little no. Uh, it would have been good if it is had it been a samasa, uh, nati chritam and nati nicham. Let's see what Bhagavan Bhashyakara does. Otherwise, it will go with the with the verb. So uh, it is not a nunj, but then some kind of a na. Nati uchritam na pi ati nicham. Okay, so uh, it's a little tricky to do this. So uh, no has to definitely stay with this. It cannot go with the word. Sucho deshe atmana chailajina kushottaram asanam. No, siram pratishtapya. So I'll leave it like this. So it should stay with this. I'll mark a dash here. Asanam and uh, let's pull the asanam also a little. Tiram pratishtha. Chailajina kushottaram. Asanam. Atmanaha. Okay, so let's put it this way. So, suchau deshe natyuchritam 
न नाति नीचम आत्मन चैलाजिन कुशोत्तरम आसनम स्थिरम प्रतिष्ठाप्य व्हाट शुड वन डू सो द अन्वय सो प्रतिष्ठाप्य किम आई थिंक भगवान भाष्यकर आस देयर सो प्रतिष्ठाप्य किम हियर इन दी प्रतिष्ठाप्य किम ओके आई हैव प्लेस्ड इट नाउ व्हाट व्हाट नेक्स्ट शुड आई डू सो इन कंटिन्यूएशन द नेक्स्ट श्लोक से तत्रैकाग्रमन कृत्वा यतचित्तेन्द्रिय क्रिय उपवश्यासने हिंजा योगमात्म विशुद्ध आत्म विशुद्ध आत्म विशुद्ध यू कैन नॉट प्यूरिफाई दि आत्मा आत्मा इज ऑलवेज प्योर सो आत्मा हेर अंतकरण फॉर चित्तशुद्धि तादर्थी चतुर्थी फॉर चित्तशुद्धि व्हाट शुड वन डू तत्र ऑन दैट आसन ऑन दैट आसन Having seated oneself on that asana, ekagram manaha ekagram krutva, making the mind completely focused, yata chitta indriya kriya. So chitta kriya and indriya kriya is yata. Yata chitta kriya indriya kriya ha sorry chitta kriya because kriya is thrilling. So yata. यथा चित्त क्रिया इंद्रिय क्रिया च ये न स यथा चित्त इंद्रिय क्रिया हा पर्सन बाय हुम दी इंद्रिय क्रिया एंड दी चित्त क्रिया बोथ हैव बीन ब्रॉट टू अ स्टैंडस्टिल दे आर कंट्रोल दैट पर्सन बीइंग दैट कैन ऑफ पर्सन मना हा एकाग्रम कृत्वा व्हेन तत्र आसने उपविश्य हैविंग सो आई सेट दिस इन दी बिगिनिंग हैविंग यबंता हैविंग उपविश्य हैविंग सी हैविंग बीन सीटेड ऑन द आसना आसने उपविश्य आसने उपविश्य योगम युन्जात योगम युन्जात व्हाय योगम युन्जात में वन शुड डू योगा वन शुड मेडिटेट Together we translate yoga mujhat as one should meditate for what purpose? Atma shuddhi for chitta shuddhi. So, asane upavishya having been seated on the asana tatra in that seat itself, ekagram manaha ekagram krutva making the mind focus. यत चित्तेन्द्रिय क्रियसन योगम आत्मशुद्धे और आत्मशुद्धे योगम युन्जात वन शुड डू योग ओके एकाग्र यत चित्तेन्द्रिय क्रियसन सो दिस कैन गो इन दी बिगिनिंग आल्सो तत्र यत चित्तेन्द्रिय क्रियसन मन एकाग्रम कृत्वा Atma Vishuddha Yoga Munja. So this can go before also. Because what is the process? They will both build upon each other. You have to stop all your Indriya Kriya and Chitta Kriya and mind should be focused. And after focusing the mind, what should you do? Again, you should restrict the mind from going outwards. So this is kind of circular here. Mana Ekagram Kratva Yata Chitta Indriya Kriya San then again mana ekagram krutva yada chindri so this will go on a sequence till you are you are completely focused and you don't need any more effort so you can put it however you wish in whichever sequence you wish yada chitendriya kriyasan mana ekagram krutva or mana ekagram krutva yada chitendriya kriyasan we can put it here and then if someone prefers is another way round, they can do it the other way round. Krutva Atma Vishuddhaye Yoga Minjat. One should follow practice meditation for Atma Vishuddhi meaning Chitta Shuddhi. Bhaiyam Asana Muktam. Now Asana which is outside you. Meditation is inside. The asana is outside, so bhaiyam asana muktam, so far asana has been mentioned, which is outside, bhairanga, 
अधुना शरीर धारण कथम इत्युच्यते नाउ टू गो इनवर्ड इट हैज बीन जनरली सेड दैट दिस इज व्हाट यू हैव टू डू दिस इज जेंडर नाउ स्पेसिफिकली हाउ शुड द पोज बी व्हाट शुड बी द योगासना आसना इज दिस आसना इज बाह्यम आसनम व्हाट अबाउट दिस आसना ऑफ द शरीर आसना शरीर धारण में शरीर आसना आसन प्राणायाम फर्स्ट बिफोर दैट इन योग अष्टांग योग हाउ इज इट यू हैव यम नियम देन आसन प्राणायाम प्रत्याहार देन धारणा ध्यान समाधि नाउ बिफोर यू गो टू धारण ध्यान समाधि विच इज बीइंग टॉक्ड अप इंडिकेटेड हियर आत्म विशुद्ध है दिस धारणा शुड बी डन और हियर दिस इज टॉकिंग अबाउट यथचित्तेन्द्रिय क्रिया इज टॉकिंग अबाउट प्रत्याहार एकाग्र मन कृत्वा इज टॉकिंग अबाउट धारणा बट इवन बिफोर दैट यम नियम इज ऑब्विस्ली देर अर्लियर इट हेज बीन बाय इट हेज बीन इंडिकेटेड बाय दिस सुचौ देशे इत्यादि एंड अर्लियर ऑल्सो दैट समत्व विथ ऑल दैट यम नियम आर आर कवर्ड देर उपलक्षण फॉर दोज सो यम नियम आर कवर्ड देन दि प्रत्याहार एंड धारणा इज कवर्ड वॉट अबाउट समथिंग बिटवी Between there is asana and pranayama. So asana pranayama, this asana which has been talked about is not the ashtanga yoga asana. Asana is the here bhyam asana muktam. But what about the sharira asana? How what should be the pose of the sharira? Aduna sharira dharanam katho sharira asana katham iti uchchete. Samang kaya shiro grivam dharayanna chalam stiraha samprek shanaasika gramsvam vishaschana. धारयन धारयन अचलम एंड स्थिर अचलम एंड स्थिर सन समम काय शिरो ग्रीव वॉट इज काय काय इज बॉडी शिरा इज देड एंड देन What is grieva? Grieva is the neck. So kaya, shira, and grieva should be in one line. Samam means it should be in one line, meaning you should sit still, so, not sit still. You should sit, sit steadily, straight. Your back should be straight. So kaya, shira, grieva uh, should be straight means what? It should be in one line. So you should sit so that your spine is. Erect, you know, the spine should be straight till the head. You should not uh, sit with a bent neck or the bent uh, spine. You should, it should be straight. The entire spine, from the base till the top of the head, it should be straight. So, samam dharayan, holding that kind of a pose, not the asana where you know padma asana or you know more and more difficult asana. What is the Yoga Sutra for Asana? It is Siram Sthira Sukham Asana. So Sthira Sukham Asana, where you can be Sthira and where you do not have any difficulty, that is an Asana. Not complicated Asanas. Complicated Asanas, if you can be without, you know, without it hurting you, it is okay. But then. Preferably, it should be as simple as possible so that you do not focus on the asana anymore. Asana siddhi should be before dhyana siddhi, before even dharana, before even dharana or pratyahara is done. Asana siddhi should be there. If you sit in a complicated asana, it will create pain, and then ekagra mana ekagra is not possible. So, stira sukham asana. Thereby, kaya shiro griyam dharayan. That's all he is saying. He is not saying how to keep your legs. How how should you fold your legs? None of those is, are being talked about because as long as you can keep your spine erect, it is fine. Because the jhana is actually starting there. Even uh, Kundalini yogis, they have nothing to do with uh, anything below the mula dhara. They are called as talas, but chakras are counted from uh, mula dhara above. Till the sahasrara. So, samam kaya shiro kaya kaya shiro grivam samam dharayan and achalan. 
समम अचलम धारयन अचलम समम धारयन वी कैन एड अचलम ऑल्सो हि समम अचलम धारयन स्थिर सन वन सेल्फ बिकमिंग स्टडी संप्रेक्ष्य नासिकाग्रम संप्रेक्ष्य सीइंग संप्रेक्ष्य सम्यक प्रेक्ष्य फोकसिंग योर आईज वेर नासिकाग्रम टुवर्ड्स द टिप ऑफ द नोज नाउ वेर शुड दिस टिप ऑफ द नोज बी सम से दिस टिप ऑफ द नोज इज द द टॉप ऑफ द नोज एट द आज्ञा चक्र अदर से दिस टिप ऑफ द नोज इज द टिप ऑफ द नोज यू नीड नॉट गो बैकवर्ड्स सो भगवान भाष्यकर असे संप्रेक्ष्य डज नॉट मीन वन शुड फोकस द माइंड देअर बिकॉज माइंड हॅज बीन एकाग्र मनकृत्व वेअर ऑन दि तत्व ऑन दि तत्व फॉर वेदांती ऑर एनी ऑब्जेक्ट ऑफ मेडिटेशन द ऑब्जेक्ट ऑफ मेडिटेशन इज नॉट नासिकाग्रम इफ यू फोकस देअर संप्रेक्ष्य नासिकाग्रम संप्रेक्ष्य इफ यू लूज युअर फोकस यू फोकस द माइंड एंटायरली ऑन द टिप ऑफ द नोज देन यू मे गेट द सिद्धी अबाउट स्मेल the siddhi is for smell so you may get some divine smell some the siddhis are talked about but that is not the goal here the goal is the mind should be focused on tattva how will you focus the mind on tattva if it is focused on the tip of the nose so bhagwan bhashyakara says that one should the eye should be as though they meaning what they should be focused there but the mind should be withdrawn and how will the mind be withdrawn only when the eyes are not seeing outward he is saying that not even closing the eyes completely you need not even completely close the eyes they should be focused towards the tip of the nose in uh, in doing so the eyes will be withdrawn from the outside completely they will be focused only on the tip of the nose so what is said is you withdraw from all other directions so that is said here dishascha anavalokayan not looking at all directions it should be only focused on the nose so uh, sam sam nasikagram not somebody else's nose so sam nasikagram sampreksha dishascha anavalokayan what again anavalokayan not following all directions the eye should not follow all directions and uh, we can say the all the sense organs should be tuned away from all the directions in all their sources all their vishayas so samam kaya shirogriyam dharayan achalam sthirahasan sampreksha levanta nasikagram swam ansol dishaha cha dishaha cha anavalokayan karma for anavalokayan so karma for anavalokayan thereby second is disha is second is plural strilinga dik dik disho disha so again continuation kincha further what nasika sampreksha dishascha anavalokayan or dishascha anavalokayan nasika agram sampreksha either way kincha moreover what prashant atma vigat bhir brahmachari vrate sthitah मन संयम्य मच्चित्तो युक्त आसीत मत्पर देन व्हाट शुड यू डू ध्यान देन दी ध्यान स्टार्ट्स ध्यान प्रॉपर प्रशांत आत्मा विथ अ वेरी कंपोज माइंड पीसफुल माइंड नॉट हैविंग एनी टेंशन अबाउट द आउटर ऑफ द इनर वर्ल्ड व्हिच वाज सेड एट द एंड ऑफ द फिफ्थ चैप्टर व्हाट वाज द वर्स देयर स्पर्शान बाह्यान स्पर्शान बाह्यान बहि कृत्वा सो स्पर्शान बाह्यान बहि कृत्वा कीपिंग ऑल युअर बर्डन आउटसाइड यू ड्यूरिंग एटलीस्ट ड्यूरिंग ध्यान कीपिंग एव्हरीथिंग दॅट युअर बॉदर्ड अबाउट आउटसाइड यू देअर बाय प्रशांत आत्मा प्रशांत आत्मा अँड देन विगत व्ही ही वन हू डज नॉट हॅव व्ही व्ही इज भया नॉट बीइंग अफ्रेड यु नो हो आय एम ऑल अलोन वॉट विल हॅपन none of those thoughts should be encouraged there so vigata vi prashant atma once you are basically once you are prashant once the mind is peaceful then some fear arises you know who oh, i am all alone what will happen now so in the confines of the home it is okay but uh, 
if you are you know sitting on the banks of the river late evening or uh, early morning in a forest area especially so or, or in a cave or a mountain so uh, bhagwan bashagara says earlier where ekaki and all that is talked about there he says that a mountain place in a cave nowadays it's difficult to find a cave itself even in higher mountains it is difficult to find nonetheless vigata bhi hi ब्रह्मचारी व्रते स्थित ब्रह्मचारी व्रते स्थित भगवान भाष्यकर एक्सप्लेन दिस ब्रह्मचारी व्रता इज वॉट ब्रह्मचारी व्रता इज इफ यू आर इन गुरुकुल देन फॉलोइंग द इंस्ट्रक्शन ऑफ दी गुरु डूइंग गुरु सेवा देन भिक्षा इत्यादि इन दी अर्लियर सेट ऑफ भिक्षा गेटिंग भिक्षा ऑल ऑफ दोज आर दी ब्रह्मचारी व्रता इज टेकन ब्रह्मचार ब्रह्मचारी व्रता इज टेकन ओथ टू सर्व दि गुरु सो ब्रह्मचारी व्रते स्थित मन संयम्य मन संयम्य लभंता सो संयम्य कर्म फॉर दि यम धातु इन संपूर्वक यम धातु इज मन फॉर सेकेंड केस मन संयम्य मच्चित मच्चित इज मयि चित मयि चित मयि इज परमात्मा कृष्ण कृष्ण इज सेंग मच्चित मच्चित one who is focused on me on paramatma thereby his mind is completely focused on paramatma machitta san that is the object of meditation yukta is yogi asit matpara asit matpara asit matpara is what aham paraha yasya aham paraha yasya sa matpara i am the goal not only am i the object of meditation not only is he holding on to me as the object of meditation the paramatma and that who that paramatma is uh, becomes clear over a period of time after shravana thereby the uh, from starting from ishta devata or the kula devata or krishna himself with the body mind sense complex slowly that definition of uh, aham here in mat this mat mat shabda becomes asmad asmad becomes clearer and clear and uh, it becomes more and more uh, without any gunas it it becomes free from guna and then one lands on the antaratma which is paramatma param utkrushta which is the uttama purusha so from purushottama beginning with purushottama one ends with uttama purusha that is the journey here shru tattva masi mahavakya but in the beginning it can be on anything so uh, anything in the sense the uh, ishta devata ityadi machittah yukta asita matpara san asita one should remain completely focused on me and while doing dhyana also he should be committed only to me not for anything else so uh, there is a uh, there is an interesting uh, bhashya there i think uh, See here, machitta mai parameshwara chittam yasya sahayam machitta ha. Then yukta samahita san asita upavishet. One should remain so uh, doing dhyana on me on paramatma. Then matpara is what aham para yasya sahayam matpara ha. Aham is this aham varies uh, as in it goes more and more inward. Starts with paramatma and then once one understands that what Bhagwan is talking about that ishwara is none other than you then that you become the inner you becomes aham kashchit ragi sri sri chitta so here he says si machitta why machitta has been said even when a person is doing dhyana he is ekaki but then he still thinks of his spouse thereby sri chitta he will not be machitta he starts his dhyana on paramatma but what happens he slips and then starts thinking about his spouse start thinking about his wife <coughs> and thereby <coughs> ragi being ragi he has raga he does not want to withdraw from the uh, from the grahastha ashrama even during dhyana avastha he still holds on to his grahastha ashrama although he should be having brahmachari vrata he should not even be thinking during dhyana about his wife etc but still kashchit ragi sri chitta and this is upalakshana one may be thinking about his business 
So this is Upalakshana or anything. One may be thinking about anything and everything. But initially it has said Prashanta Atma. Without actually thinking about anything else, one should start the Dhyana. But then during Dhyana, suddenly one starts thinking about anything and everything but the object of meditation. Except for Paramatma, everything. So Paratvena Natu Triyam Eva Paratvena Grinnati. However, his goal is not his wife. He may be thinking about his wife uh, being a ragi or you can replace anything for this three. You can replace uh, with a, anything. But that is not his goal. Natu sriyam eva paratvina grunnati. Kintari rajanam mahadevam va. So in the earlier setup, whoever he is planning to please, you know, over a, that is his goal. He wants to reach the king. He wants to uh, get something from the king. Whatever, the raja or mahadeva. Anything can be the... Uh, uh, can be the goal, but here I am to machitta. That's why machitta, which has been mentioned, that is uh, negating this possibility of being a stri chitta or any other chitta. Whereas, uh, why is having said machitta? Why did he say matparaha? Doesn't machitta cover matparaha? No, one may be meditating about upon that for some other result, wanting some other result, but the goal should be the same, I should not only be the object of meditation, I should also be the goal. Therefore, the complete commitment should be towards me. I am to Machitta Matparascha. He is also Matparaha. He is also committed to me. That is his goal. He does not want anything else. No Siddhi Ityadi. So, Prashantatma, Prashantatma, Vigatavi, Brahmachari, Vrate, Stitaha, San, Manaha, Sanyamya machittaha yuktaha asita machittaha matparaha yukta asita. Yogi should remain so. Or yukta, the yogi, sanyamya yukta, yogi, machitta matparaha asita. Atha idanim yoga phala muchate. So what is the phala of this yoga dhyana? Why should I do this dhyana on Paramatma? Why should I be committed to Paramatma? Yunjan nevam sadatmana yogi niyatamana saha shantin nirvana parama matsanstama digachati. This is the phala. Yunjan, yogi practicing meditation evam in this manner, the way it has been said. What is the way? Simple. Machitta matpara. That is all. If one does yoga, one does meditation, dhyana on Ishwara, being committed to Ishwara, then Ishwara is the goal. Matsamsthanam, uh, Matsamstham Adigachati, Matsamstham Adigachati, that is the goal. He attains me. He attains me, that is what Bhagavan is saying. Sada, and Sada is there. Is it so easy? Sada. Always Atmanam Yogi Niyatamanasa Shantim Nirvana Param Matsamstam Adigachati. Yunjan Atmanam yun, uh, Sada Yunjan. Evam Atmanam. See, look at this now. Paramatma starting with Matparaha, he is saying Atmanam. So here also you can see this Atma. Here he has not used Paramatma. So Paramatma is Atma. There is Abheda Jnana here. Evam Atmanam Yunjan, Yogi Atmanam Evam Yunjan, what he has said, Matparaha, there it is Ishwara, Krishna as an Ishwara, and here Atma is Pratyagatma, oneself. So you meditate upon Paramatma who is non-different from you. Always Sada Atmanam Yogi Yunjan, Evam Yunjan, Niyatamanasaha whose mind is under his control, Shamaha is there, then what does he attain? Matsamstam, he attains me, which is what? Nirvana Parama, which is the goal, the highest moksha, not that moksha which is Agantuka or which is relative, not the Sarupya Salokya Ityadi Mukti, but Advaita Mukti, which is Shanti, Parama Shanti. So therefore, Nirvana Parama Matsamstam Shantim Adhigachati. Kiyum Sada 
ஆத்மானம் யோகி நியத மானசா மானசா இஸ் மனையோ மானசா மனையோ மானசா இட்ஸ் அ ஸ்வார்த்தே அனுப்பிரத்திய சாந்தி நிர்வாண பரமாம் சாந்தி மத் சம்ஸ்தாம் அதிகச்சதி டஸ் பகவான் பாஷ்யகார சி சம்திங் அடிஷ்னல் அவுட் மத் சம்ஸ்தாம் மத் சம்ஸ்தாம் மததி நாம் விச் இஸ் மை ரிஃப்யூஜ் ஷி அட்டைன்ஸ் மை ரிஃப்யூஜ் தட் சாந்தி விச் இஸ் it is related to me it is madadina it is madadina shanti that kind of shanti attains so you have to ask now as to how is it that one meditating upon atma oneself one's own nature attains uh, matsamstham shanti nirvana param shanti because there is abheda between ishvara and atma Sattomasi is also taught here across 14 and 15. Evam Atmanam Sada Yunjan Yogi Niyata Manasas Evam Niyata Manasa Yogi Yogi who has his mind under control What should he do? Atmanam Sada Yunjan Meditating upon oneself Atma one's own inner self, Pratyagatma, Paramatma, what does he get? Matsamstam, Nirvana Paramam, Matsamstam, Shantim, Adhigachyati. He attains that Shanti. This is the Phala. Idhanim Yoginaha Aharadi Niyamaha Ucchyate. then ahara vihara which was mentioned there asana ahara vihara asana has been covered phala was also covered now ahara vihara is remaining idani yogina ahara adi niyama uchyate natya natya chnatastu yogosti nachaikanta manashnatah nachati swapna shilasya jagrato naiva charjuna so ahara and vihara niyama has been mentioned here na அத்தியந்த நாட் அத்தியந்த அதி அஷ்னத அதி அஷ்னத ஒன் ஹூ இஸ் ஈட்டிங் டூ மச் யோக நாஸ்தி ஃபார் தேட் கைண்ட் ஆஃப் அ பர்சன் யோக இஸ் நாட் பாசிபிள் இஃப் யூ ஓவர் இட் யூ வில் ஃபால் அ ஸ்லீப் யூ கே நாட் டூ தியான சோ ஒன் ஷுட் நாட் ஓவர் இட் தென் ஏகாந்தம் அனஷ்னத ஒன் ஹூ இஸ் நாட் ஈட்டிங் ekanta means uh, not eating is the is the only thing that he is doing meaning he is not eating ekantam ekantena adverbial ekantena means as a goal his goal is i will not eat so anashnatah thereby he uh, anashnatah shashti uh, anashnatah yogah na bhavati yogah nasti yoga is not possible ந சக்கியதேத்தியர்த்தனீலஸ்ய நவ் விஹார ஒன் ஹூ இஸ் ஸ்லீப்பிங் அ லாட் ஸ்வப்ன இஸ் 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 ஸ்வப்ன ஹேஸ் பூத் மீனிங்ஸ் ட்ரீம் ஆஸ் வெல் எஸ் ஸ்லீப் ஹியர் இட் இஸ் இன் தி சென்ஸ் ஆஃப் ஸ்லீப் ஒன் ஹூ ஸ்லீப்ஸ் அ லாட் ஸோ டுவெல் ஹவர்ஸ் டென் வாட் எவர் தி என்டயர் டே அன்லெஸ் தெர் இஸ் சம் ஒர்க் டு டூ விச் i have to do without which i cannot uh, you know it's not possible for me to survive then i do a lazy person so for a lazy person yoga is not possible what about jagrata so jagrata here this uh, one who is awake awake all the while so ati jagrata this ati can be brought in as an anurti ati jagrata cha for a one who is waking throughout the night for the sake of dhyana maybe but still one should not overdo it there also yoga is not possible one may think that i had absolute fant- fantastic samadhi but what kind of samadhi would that be that would be nidra samadhi sthiti uh, elsewhere in uh, i think some shiva stotra it is there nidra samadhi sthiti but there it is that nidra in the place of shiva in that shiva mahima is such that you play you even if you sleep in his temple 
it is like samadhi but here it is the other way around you feel that you are having samadhi but you have got, gone to sleep therefore uh, jagrataha ati jagrata also yoga nasti this is what bhagwan tells eva cha can be added as needed this is sambodhana hey arjuna atyashnataha tu yoga nasti ekantam ashnataha cha yoga nasti ati swapnashilasya cha yoga nasti and jagrata eva cha yoga nasti so you can do the anvaya in that manner what's the time three more minutes okay let's see katham punaha yogi bhavati ityuchyate uh, sorry yoga bhavati katham punaha yoga bhavati ityuchyate so you are telling me how yoga is not possible please also tell me how is yoga possible so that that may be the question katham punaha yoga bhavati yoga nasti yoga na bhavati all that has been said in 16 so when will yoga be possible specifically with ahara and ahara vihara niyama so he says yuktahara viharasya yuktacheshtasya karmasu yuktasvapnavabodhasya yogo bhavati dukkaha so yoga ha dukkaha bhavati dukkha means dukkham hanti iti dukkaha upapada tatpurusha yogaha uh, is easily possible it uh, takes away all the obstacles what is it is said here sixth chapter yukta ahara viharasya yukta ahara and vihara is yukta it is balanced samatvam yoga uchyate si yukta is also sama sama ahara viharasya one who takes a balanced diet one who has a balanced sleep does not sleep a lot does not stay awake so it is balanced food is also balanced for that kind of a person yukta cheshtasya thereby is yukta cheshta he is yukta cheshta by yukta cheshta yasya yukta cheshta sa yukta cheshta similarly here yukta ahara viharascha yasya sa yukta ahara vihara tasya yukta ahara viharascha yukta cheshtasya samana dikaranam for that kind of person who cheshta who is engagement is all balanced his ahara is balanced his movement is balanced thereby his healthy then karmasu 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 yukta cheshtasya yukta swapnao bodhasya everything is balanced so he is adding yukta everywhere his balance in engagement in karma also he has a balanced approach he does not overdo it not a workaholic and not lazy also and that lazy as in withdrawing from work and not doing what has to be done kartavyam karma not that kind of person then yukta swapna avodasya one who avoda is one who is awake and then swapna is one who is sleeping so therefore yukta uh, not one who is sleeping yukta swapna is one who is sleeping and yukta avoda is one who is awake but balance yukta means balance sleep and balance waking one who has that yukta ahara vihara one who ahara is yukta sama vihara roaming uh, he is uh, does not you know run through and through or sit idle he walks around so all of these are indicative of balanced life for that kind of a person yoga ha dukkha ha bhavati dukham hanti iti dukkha ha so yoga itself will take away all dukkha it will take away all dukkha so or yoga is possible easily but dukkha ha bhavati what does bhagwan bhashya kara say we'll do the anvaya but i'll just look at what bhagwan bhashya kara says dukkha ha does he give something specific dukkha ha dukkha ani sarvani hanti iti dukkha ha sarva samsara dukkha kshaya krut yoga bhavati ityartha finally it will lead to sarva samsara dukkha nasha thereby yoga uh, this kind of a yoga dhyana where it starts with chitta shuddhi then after shravana manana it this dhyana is nididhyasa nurupa dhyana and thereby sarva samsara dukkha kshaya krut bhavati this yoga itself will take away all dukkha samsara dukkha also so yoga yoga dukkha ha bhavati i have done the anvaya here itself okay yukta ahara viharasya yukta 
कर्मसुयुक्त चेष्ट कर्मसु युक्त चेष्ट वन हू एंगेज इन कर्म ऑल्सो इन अ बैलेंस्ड वे डज नॉट ओवर डू इट डज नॉट अवॉइड इट एंड वन हू डज नॉट स्लीप अ लॉट और डज नॉट बी अवेक ऑल द टाइम फॉर हिम वॉट हैपन्स योग दुखा भवती सिंपल अंदर विल स्टॉप हियर शांति 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 एनी क्वेश्चन I think there were some three pending questions, Bhavya. And anyone else who has questions? There are some questions. Okay. Yeah. No. Yeah. Yeah. Actually, this was. Uh, If we can go back to 5.27 during the Sangati Bhasha, yeah. while explaining the Sangati Bhasha, you said uh, Shravana. Sorry. Six yeah, chapter. five. Yeah, ending of this chapter. Ending of fifth chapter, 5.27. Oh, fifth chapter. Okay. 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 5.27. Yes. Okay. while explaining the sangati bhasha there you said uh, shavana removes pramana shanka and manana removes prameya shanka could you please elaborate on that yeah what is the question there so i just want an elaboration of that shavana should be done till pramana shanka is removed and manana should oh, be done till pramana is not that shavana should be done only for that is one way shavana is explained Uh, mm-hmm. Shravana should be continuous. Manana should also be continuous. So, puna puna mm-hmm. shravanam kuriya, uh, mm-hmm. because there is nothing else to do for a person who is a mumukshu. Moksha is the goal. There is nothing else to do. So, what will a person do? Nididhyasana. If nididhyasana is possible, uh, one should do nididhyasana. But when is nididhyasana possible? Only when everything is understood. There are no doubts. If doubts are there, we need manana. If the mm-hmm. tattva itself is not understood, we need shravana. So Shravana is for Pramana Shankar Nivrutti, meaning what is the tatpare of the Shruti? If one is not clear uh, as to the tatpare of the Shruti, for example, you can ask yourself question or uh, with your, you know, uh, with somebody who is interested in the uh, how is this particular uh, shloka or mantra, you know, how is it interpreted as Advaita? In a debate, it is possible if you are talking to a Dvaitin or a Vishesh Dvaitin or a Buddhist or someone else, you know. Uh, generally talking about it they say that okay, your shastra says this how do you know the shastra says this so there you should be able to at least explain to yourself you should be convinced that shastra is saying uh, that tattvamasi means you are ishwara unless you know that all shastras are talking about the same thing even the entire sig gita you are studying gita here something is said at one place which appears to be uh, with a dvaita bhava elsewhere it appears to be with, uh, as shivering vishishta dvaita somewhere it will appear to be advaita but can you can you see that all of these things are really talking about advaita tattva if not then shravana is not complete if you yourself are not convinced forget convincing others you don't need to but then if someone asks you a question you should not be convinced it, it's good if you can answer the question if you cannot answer the question at least you should be able to answer it to yourself you should be Uh, able to clearly see that the other is not able to see, but you are able to see Advaita Tattva. This is the Tatpare of the Shruti. This is the Tatpare of all Shastras, including Karma Kanda. It is focused towards this goal. If that is clear, Shravana is more or less complete. More or less because uh, you have to keep on revisiting because something else you study, you see that oh, this is saying something else. Maybe it is not Advaita. Mm-hmm. I have seen these people. There are people who have studied a lot, many years, and still they have a doubt. Uh, as to science says this right? where is science coming in in shastras somehow mm-hmm. they believe science more than shastras somehow they believe uh, you know the science is talking about this uh, uh, bosons and uh, what not in quantum physics and mm-hmm. it appears you know very uh, logical for us oh it is very scientific approach let me look at this how what they talk about consciousness 
you may look about it you may even do comparative study you may get phds but not moksha mm-hmm. so shravana is complete when you know that shastra is the pramana and uh, not only shastra is pramana you know what shastra is uh, saying what is the tatparya of all shastra in manana prameya shanka meaning oh it is saying that but is it really true in my case so it says that maybe uh, uh, shankara acharya got this kind of moksha some shringeri acharya got this maybe my guru got it but maybe not me how will i get it i am a limited person i have you know this my needs are very limited as long as i meet these goals i am happy and thereby i don't think in this janma it is possible maybe in many janmas also it may not be possible i don't think it is for me you think that it is not applicable to you because we you we take ourselves with as associated with the body mind sense complex that is what not not what the shastra is saying so prameya shanka is to be removed there as to what is that not only the tatparya but what is that prameya what is revealed in the shastras who is that tvam as equated with tat that should be very clear and it is talking about me so prameya shanka should be removed and that knowledge should be doubtless there so manana takes away the doubts regarding brahma and atma which atma which brahma saguna brahma va na va nirguna brahma va so and whether this jiva as in which jiva is sandogya talking about the shweta ketu who is the son of udalaka which shweta ketu is said to be uh, tom there so that has to be understood and that tom is is it applicable only to shweta ketu in some era or is it applicable even now here and now so for jivan mukti what is the analysis there including in gita what we are seeing it is all the elaboration of the same idea so that is prameya shanka nivritti in manana and staying with that is nididhyasana hmm. okay. and uh, there only when uh, bhashyakara says uh, sutra thani yan shloka uh, hmm. can we take it as a vidhi there these practices are to be practiced in order to be capable of nididhyasana in the future mr darshana santram vistarana vakshami iti tasya sutra staniyan shlokan upadeshati sma the sutra staniyan is just it, it is briefly told that's all uh, so upadeshati sma which was said in the last what has been mentioned here it is the fifth chapter right so sutra staniyan shlokan upadeshati sma this varshan pratva bhayava this is what vistarena vakshami iti tasya sutra staniyan shlokan upadeshati sma what did he teach he taught through these shlokas whatever is going to be elaborated in the sixth chapter sixth chapter sutra staniya means what sutra is not a pramana sutra it is not a vidhi sutra is what sutra is just brief it is an aphorism everything is condensed into some words that's all sutra means there Yeah, but in the shloka, uh, Bhash, Bhagavan Bhashyakara goes, I mean, sorry, sorry, Gita Charya goes on to talk about these practices, no? Uh, chakshuhu, uh, chakshuhu antare bhruvo ho and pranapano samokritva. So that is, that, that is just a sutra. So, okay, what is Dhyana Yoga? This entire thing is Dhyana Yoga. Now, why do you need a sixth chapter? can you understand what is said here sparshan krutva bhair vayan chakshur chakshus chaivantare bhuho prana pano samokrutva so pranayama is included now nasabhyantar charino prana pano samokrutva then yatendriya mano buddhi munihi moksha parayana committed to moksha vigate ichha bhaya krodha ya so whatever is said now what we saw today this uh, uh, vigata bhi vigata bhi is mentioned here at vigate ichha bhaya krodha uh, with all the chitta words we saw an atma we seen this vigata ichha is already covered here itself it is covered uh, then vigata bhaya krodha is also covered but it is elaborated there right this is not sufficient what do we understand from this if you understand this we don't need sixth chapter sixth chapter is an elaboration of this so this is sutra and the sixth chapter is a commentary on this that's all it means okay vidhi means how should you do it obviously this is how you should do it so it, whether you take it as a vidhi or not this is how it has to be done how else will you do it if you do it uh, okay let me uh, you know uh, uh, let me breathe any which way let me just you know start eating and while eating let me do dhyana that is not dhyana so and uh, if you think that okay let me sleep and do it that is also not dhyana so obviously there are steps mentioned and these steps whether you take it as a vidhi is irrelevant 
how else will you do it what is the source for dhyana it cannot be some you know some western uh, psychologist or some you know indian shrink tells you okay this is how i do it you know uh, it is not that so this is the source this this borrows from upanishads there are a lot of yoga upanishads also all these have come from yoga upanishads smriti mm-hmm. gita chare is not uh, giving something of his own he is giving something which is already there in shruti so this is smriti grantha so mm-hmm. all these are for us whatever bhagwan krishna tells here is covered in upanishad and uh, even if you don't consider him as ishwara or you consider him as ishwara he is just talking about ishwara vachana but if uh, it is not understood we have to refer to shruti as to what he is saying here all these have uh, have their basis in shruti okay. so there are, we know only these uh, by name not even uh, this thing by name we know 10 upanishads bhagwan bhagwan bhashyakara wrote 10 uh, uh, bhashyas on 10 upanishads or 11 upanishads he wrote uh, shweta shatra also uh, mm-hmm. so because of that we know only these they have become famous it does not mean that there are only 10 upanishads or 11 upanishads there are so many upanishads at least 108 are retained in the sampradaya as valid upanishads valid as in they are uh, they are upanishads not others mm. so all these have have their basis elsewhere if they are not found in uh, the upanishads which are well known which are these they are definitely there in the other upanishads there are a lot of yoga upanishads mm. so it's a vidhi mentioned here so vidhi can be but uh, by saying sutra sthani and it is not a vidhi sutra sthaniya just sthaniya means that this has a place of sutra because it is very briefly mentioned the entire thing is mentioned in two shlokas the entire sum of six chapter is in this uh, 5.27 and 28 that's all it means okay and uh, the last question is with respect to 6.4 hmm. what is the question uh, the sarva sankalpa sanyasi yoga rudra ोगारूढ़ाबल Okay, then uh, just I have trouble understanding Sarva Sankalpa Varjita ha in Nidhi Dhyasana. Even during Nidhi Dhyasana, there seems to be some Sankalpa of doing Nidhi Dhyasana on Atma Tattva. So that is like saying, okay, uh, 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 Mumukshu should be is not a Vairagi then. No, but, uh, just Sarva is Sankalpa Sanyasi is Mumukshu a Vairagi or not? Yes. yes. why moksha he has moksha ichha how how can he have ichha if he is a vairagi see these are all very you know uh, these questions you should not entertain why would you ask, have such a question as to uh, just because he has a desire for or is doing shravana manan nidhi asana is not a sanyasi sarva sankalpa sanyasi means that he does not have any uh, anything other than moksha on his mind now if he gives up everything how will he get moksha he will be born again he will be uh, ubhaya prashta hmm. if he does not have desire for moksha and he has desire for nothing he is just another person walking around the, the banks of rishikesh you will find so many people what is their commitment to nothing then these people think that mohakshaya is moksha mohakshaya is not moksha what as a vyakarana student you should know what is the definition of moksha which dhatu does it come from Does it come from Mohdhatu? No, much dhatu. Moksha does not come from Mohdhatu. So, one who does not have moha is not uh, a mukta. Moksha is not that. He has to have desire for mukto michu mumukshu. So, mukto michu is mumukshu, right? Yeah. If he is a vairagi, then you say, oh, there are people who just argue for the sake of. I have heard these arguments long back. and i have said that the, he does not even have the desire to be desireless it drops off on its own but how will he get moksha if he does not say that i'll do shravana manan nidhyasana there are people who say that i am free i don't want to do shravana manan nidhyasana are they really free they are new vedantins 
they don't know what freedom is they don't know so tattvamasi is not really understood you cannot just land on tattvamasi just like that somebody explains so oh, you are ishwara this person does not know what who ishwara is he does not know who what tam means that is not how it works so sarva sankalpa sanyasi does not mean you look at the bhashya even doubt you look at bhashya hmm. 6.4 what does it say सर्व संकल्प सन्यासी वचना सर्वाश्च कामान सर्वाणि च कर्माणि सन्यस्य सन्यस्य सन्यास्य नाउ इज सर्वाणि च कर्म कामान इज दिस काम टू इज श्रवणमनिध्यासन काम इट इज नॉट अ काम इज इट अ कर्म रियली धातु वाइज इट इज अ कर्म इज इट रियली अ कर्म कर्म इन एनी गीता शास्त्र ऑलवेज मीन टेलिंग यू कर्म मीन्स वैदिक कर्म is it a karma kanda karma shravana mana vidyasana it is not atma vare drashtavya shrotavya mantavya nididhyasitavya and uh, what is shravana sanyasya shravanam kuriyat one should take sanyasa where is karma for that sanyasi so sarva sankalpa sanyasi he is given up all sankalpas sankalpas are for a result he is not this moksha is not a result have i ever thought that moksha is a result is moksha janya no then how how is it uh, how is it a sankalpa that let there be moksha for me let there be moksha for me moksha cannot be a any janya moksha is janya for others not for advaitins advaitins say moksha is not born it is figurative mm-hmm. when we say that gnano uh, gnanotpatti is there but moksha is is not uh, is not janya so how can there be sankalpa there is no sankalpa you can't do a sankalpa and say that okay i am doing this karma for moksha completely useless sankalpa it makes no sense at all you cannot get moksha as a result of any karma so there by sarvanscha kaman sarvani cha karmani sanyaste uh, by that sankalpa is obviously not uh, a hurdle to that kind of a sanyasa is it understood or you still have doubt yes. no okay i'm um, okay with it thank you anything thank else no that's all thank you sir. anyone else yes anand anand did you have a question Okay, uh, I'm not sure whether Anand is there. Uh, okay, Anand, if you have a question, you have to press the question again because uh, Anand had said that he is going to leave early. Uh, 